Arboviruses are viruses that are carried or born between organisms by certain insects and arachnids in a group of organisms called arthropods. The arthropods act as vectors or carriers of the viruses. Arboviruses are mainly RNA viruses from the virus families Flaviviridae, Rheoviridae, Rhabdoviridae and Togoviridae. The only known DNA arbovirus family is Asphaviridae. This arbovirus family infects pigs and is called African Swine Fever Virus. Arthropod vectors such as mosquitoes, ticks, tiny winged insects called thrips, leafhoppers, midges and sandflies can carry the viruses. When they bite a plant, animal or person, they transmit the virus. Some arthropod vectors are described as hematophagous, meaning they feed on human and or animal blood to survive or reproduce. When they bite to feed on blood, they infect the animal or person they bite with the arbovirus. Ticks carry a number of arboviruses, such as tick-borne encephalitis virus, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever and African swine fever virus. Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever is a rare disease spread to humans from animals. It's caused by an orthanorovirus and is particularly associated with hyaloma ticks. Mosquitoes act as vectors for a variety of arboviruses, such as chikungunya, dengue and zika viruses. Dengue is caused by a group of four closely related viruses within the flavivirus genus. Dengue infects up to 390 million people each year and is transmitted by the two mosquito species Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Arboviruses can also infect plants, causing disease and losses to agriculture. Leafhopper insects can carry May street virus, which is a problem throughout Africa. And in Eastern and Central Africa, invasive whiteflies spread Gemini viruses that cause cassava mosaic disease. Thrip-transmitted tomato-spotted wilt tospa virus infects not only tomatoes, but also 1,000 other plant species, including many crops. Arboviruses have an impact on plant, human and animal health, and pose an increasing threat. Climate change, globalisation, the animal trade, exportation and travel have caused emerging and re-emerging arboviruses to expand their geographical range, and have led to more frequent outbreaks. Researchers around the world are looking for ways to tackle this growing problem.